thanks for coming back watching another video. Today's video we're talking about simplifying fractions. Another way to think about simplifying fraction, to reduce a fraction. So to make the, the numbers, literally to make the numbers smaller, okay? And again, today we're going to be using fraction bars, right? So these are all representative of, of one bar. So this is one, it's not a fraction, it's a solid number. One half, one half, one half, right? So you put one half plus one half equals one thirds, right? Uh, we discussed this in our uh, fraction bar video. So let's look at twelfths. Let's say we have twelfths, okay? Twelve out of twelve, that's one, right? Twelve out of twelve equals one. It's the same size. There we go. Let's say that we have eight twelfths. Man, how do we reduce what, like, is 8 out of 12, okay, so I have 8, how many pieces do I have? I have 8 out of 12, okay. So, I'll put these vertically because we don't have them. The way that you reduce or simplify a fraction is if you can divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So, let's, let's divide it by uh, 2. Can I divide that by 2? Yeah, I sure can. Oh, <laughs> um, divide by 2. And so what do we get? We get 8 divided by 2 is 4. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Huh. Could I do that again? 4 out of 6 equals, if we divide six, 4 by 2, oh, we get 2. Hmm. If we divide 6 by 2, we get 3. 8 out of 12, right, 8 twelfths is the same thing as saying what? 2 out of 3 equals 2 out of 3. Simplifying fractions necessitates that you find the greatest common factor, okay? So check this out. 4 is a factor of 8. 4 is a factor of 12. Oh, that's the greatest common factor. Divide 8 by 4, you get 2. Divide 12 by 4, you get 3. That's amazing. So, check this out. 8 twelfths equals 1 third. Great. 2 thirds. It's the same size. That's amazing. So, we simplify fractions. Simplify fractions means to reduce the numbers as small as you can while maintaining the same actual value. Okay, so let's try it out again with another. Instead of using twelfths, maybe let's, uh, well, we can use twelfths. What if we have nine out of twelve, right? So nine out of twelve. One, two, three, right? So this gives us nine. Three, six, nine, boom. Nine out of twelve. Can we find the greatest common factor? Hmm, nine is a, uh, one times nine and three times three. Okay, three. Three is a, the greatest common factor other than nine. Twelve, one times twelve, two times six, three times four. Oh, three. Boom, watch this. So we can divide nine by three. Okay, nine divided by three is three. And twelve divided by three is what? Four. Three fourths. Watch this. So nine twelfths is the same as one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Guys, this is what it means to simplify or reduce a fraction. Nine out of twelve, nine twelfths is the exact same thing as three fourths. Three fourths is easier to think about. Oh, I have three quarters. Oh, I got three quarters of a dollar. That's a little bit different than thinking, oh, I have nine twelfths. Nah. Simplifying fractions help us to comprehend and to understand, to be able to work with the problem. So, we dealt with um, 8 twelfths, and now we've dealt with 9 twelfths. Let's look at some other fractions, other simplifications we can use. Okay? What about tenths? Okay? Uh, tenths. Mm, let's think 2 tenths. 2 out of 10. Hmm. What's the greatest common factor? Greatest common factor. 1 times 2, oh, 2, uh, 2 times 5, 
Oh, so 2 is my greatest common factor. Okay? 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 1 fifth. So 2 out of 10. 2 tenths is the same. Is it the same size? Yes! It is. Look. Ah. Uh, two, 2 tenths is the same as 1 fifth. It's so cool. We can simplify fractions all day. All right, what about now, let's look at um, 6 out of 10 equals, is it still 2, okay, 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. Those are my factors for 6. 1 times 10, 2 times 5. Oh, it's just 2. So, well, greatest common factor is 2, so 3 out of 5. Check that out. 2, 4, 6. And we have three out of five. One, two, three. Six tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six equals three fifths. That's pretty cool. Simplifying fractions, again, the value, the worth stays the same, but the numbers change. The numbers reduce to where they're more manageable, they're more comprehensive. Comprehensible. Just a quick look at simplifying fractions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.